Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we discuss the following question which says Prove that square root of 5 is an irrational number. Before we move on to the solution let's recall one theorem which says Let P be a prime number If P divides a square, then P divides A, where A is a positive integer. This is the key idea that we use for this question. Let's proceed with the solution now. Since we need to show that root 5 is an irrational number, so we assume let root 5 be a rational number then we say there exists co-prime positive integers A and B such that root 5 is equal to A upon B where we have B is not equal to 0 then this means we have root 5 into B is equal to A now squaring both sides we get 5b square is equal to a square. This means that 5 divides a square and this 5 is a prime number and according to the theorem stated in the key idea we have that if the prime number p divides a square then p divides a. So this means that if 5 divides a square 5 also divides A. Since 5 divides A, this means we have A is equal to 5C for some positive integer C. Now, squaring both sides, we get a square is equal to 25c square. Now from here we have a square equal to 5b square. So in place of a square we put 5b square. So we have 5b square is equal to 25c square. Since we have a square equal to 5b square. This means we have b square equal to 5c square. Or you can say this means that 5 divides b square and here 5 is the prime number. So according to the theorem stated in the key idea, since 5 divides b square, so we get 5 also divides b. So now we have 5 divides a and 5 divides b. That is we say since 5 divides a and 5 divides B, we find that A and B have at least 5 as a common factor but we had assumed A and B to be the co-prime positive integers. So we have but A and B 
आर को प्राइम सो दिस इज अ कॉन्ट्रेडिक्शन हेन्स our assumption is wrong thus we have that root 5 is an irrational number now since we had assumed root 5 to be a rational number and we have proved that our assumption is wrong thus we get that root 5 is an irrational number so this completes the session hope you have understood the solution of this question